Lasers in general are just amazing, but you put a maze in the mix, all of a sudden you've got laser mazing. There are 60 challenge cards all together. I'm gonna start with a beginner level, number 11. It tells me which pieces I need and where they go on the board, but they don't tell me their rotation. And you'll see that's gonna become important. It tells me which pieces need to be added to the board, and it tells me the number of targets I have to hit with the laser. Now, the answers are on the back, but we don't need the answers because we'll be able to solve this one together. Now, the next step in my rule book is to turn off the lights. There's a slot on the board to hold the card, but for the time being, I'm gonna let the card sit out here. The card tells me that the red piece goes here. Now the red piece is the piece that actually fires off the laser, but it doesn't tell me the rotation this way or this way. Then it tells me that a purple piece goes here. Now the purple pieces have a mirror on one side and a red target on the other side. But again, we don't know the rotation. So a purple piece goes here, a purple piece goes here, and a purple piece goes here. And we also know that a green piece will be added somewhere to the board. Now the green pieces are unique because they act like mirrors, but they're also transparent. So the laser will go through it and bounce a reflection off at 90 degrees. So all we know right now is that all the pieces on the board must be used and exactly two targets must be hit. And without looking at the back of the card, I think I, oh, very interesting, okay. I think I have an idea. Okay, so if the green piece is actually moved to over here like this, and if the red piece is rotated this way, the purple piece here is rotated this way, this is rotated like this, and we fire the laser, it's bouncing off of this piece, being split by the green piece, hitting one target here and another target here, and we have solved the challenge. Okay, moving on to puzzle number 12, we know the red piece goes here, coincidentally in the same spot, but we don't know the rotation. Blue goes here, now blue is a straight up mirror. The laser cannot pass through the blue piece. And we know a yellow piece goes here, again, no rotation. The yellow piece is a loop, and the laser must go through the loop. And we know there's a purple piece here and two purple pieces must be added to the board and there's one target. Oop. Okay, that's what we have to try to solve this puzzle. So let's say a purple piece goes here and a purple piece goes here and we flip this around like this, rotate the red piece, and we fire the laser, the laser bounces off of this piece, bounces off the blue mirror, goes through the loop here, bounces off of this, and hits the back of our purple piece here, the target, and we have solved challenge 12. And keep in mind, those were just beginning puzzles. There's still intermediate, advanced, and expert puzzles to challenge your beam bending strategy skills.